What's up, man? What are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. What's up, man? I'm just trying out my new face covering. You know, like, everyone's got to wear masks and stuff in the stores. And I thought, well, if I got to wear a mask, it's going to be a bulletproof mask. And that's what this is. It stops, like, all kinds of stuff, like 9 mil, 357 Magnum. It makes me feel like I'm in Mortal Kombat or something. Woo! Yeah, but will it stop a steel chair? Why you got to ruin everything? Why would it need to stop a steel chair? <laughs> Oh! What's up everybody? So I don't know if you know this, but here recently we hit a million subscribers. It is absolutely insane to me that there are a million of you that are subscribed to this channel. I appreciate every single one of you and here soon I'm going to do a video just about us hitting a million and announce my giveaway in it, which has some really cool stuff that I'm excited to give away to you. As for today's video, we're back out on the range and I have a very unique face covering to show you. Let's go grab it and get started. So right now, everyone's recommending that you wear a mask when you go out in the public. Well, if I'm gonna wear a mask, I'm gonna wear a bulletproof mask. Oh man, this thing does not breathe very well. It is really hot when you put this on. This is the Bullet Safe Bulletproof Bandana. And with all this talk about masks right now, I thought this would be a pretty unique piece of body armor to test out. Um, it's supposed to stop a 22 up to a 44 Magnum. Now. That hurt pretty bad if you were wearing this because it's soft armor, but that's not the point. I just want to see if it will actually stop when it says it will stop. So today we're going to set this up and have some fun. So I've been thinking, uh, there is a million of you now, which is insane, but I feel like there are so many of you that I think I need to call y'all something. I've been putting a lot of thought into it, there's this term, and the term is kinfolk, and it's spelled K-I-N-F-O-L-K, which means a group of people that are related by blood. Well, it's spelled K-I-N, right? Well, I'm going to spell it K-E-N, like Kentucky, kin, kinfolk. You all are going to be my kinfolk. Blood relation is a pretty strong bond. But if you're part of Kentucky Ballistics, that's a much stronger bond than blood relation, if you ask me. So if you're a part of Kentucky Ballistics, then you're a part of the Kentucky Ballistics family. And that makes you one of my kinfolk. We got the bulletproof bandana set up and we're gonna start out with 22 long rifle using a Ruger LCR 22. I really hope that it at least stops this. Otherwise, this is gonna be a really short video. All right, let's check it out. All right, well, we have a hit, but we do not have an exit hole. So, it stopped at 22, let's move up. Before I take my next shot, I wanna say thank you to Tack Pack for sponsoring today's video. Tack Pack is a monthly subscription service that's focused around outdoor survival and tactical gear. It's $49.95 a month, and every month you get a new Tack Pack delivered to your doorstep. There's always lots of goodies in there, and it's a big surprise every time you open it. I think it's a really cool service, so be sure and check them out. And again, a big thank you to Tack Pack for sponsoring today's video. Okay, up next is nine millimeter. Ooh. Well, all right. <laughs> Here's the nine mil hit, and we do not have a hole coming out the other side. Sure, that still would have hurt though. So I failed to mention that was a nine mil, 124 grain full metal jacket. Now let's step it up a few notches. This is a Smith & Wesson Combat Magnum chambered in 357 Magnum, and we're gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 158 grain jacket at hollow points. This would hurt really bad if you were wearing this bandana. Oh! Nope. Man, it looks like it did, but I think it's just where it pressed up against the bowling pin. So here's where we hit, and you can see the jacket inside that hole. And then back here is where it looks like we had an exit hole, but I'm not sure. Let's open this up and see. No? 
Get off me, Ant. It doesn't look like it came out the back. That's just where this pressed up against that bowling pin. Let's set it back up. It says it's rated for 44 Magnum, so that's what we're gonna try next. I have a Smith & Wesson Combat Magnum with a three inch barrel chambered in 44 Magnum, and I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 300 grain jacketed hollow points. And again, I would not want to be wearing this mask right now. This would really, really hurt. Oh my goodness. Even if it stopped the bullet, it would have blown it right off your face. Ooh, we hit high. Oh. May have went through. Uh. I don't know. We may need to shoot that one more time. Here is where I hit, and we hit high. And it looks like there is an ant on me. It doesn't look like it went through the body armor but it may have shot out the top. I was trying to avoid these other areas we hit. So uh, I'm just gonna hit right here real quick and we'll see how that goes. Oh, snap. <laughs> I just realized it's really hot. So we hit here and it looks like it slipped out the top. I don't think it actually went through the armor, but there's the bullet right here. Look at that. And man, is it hot. <laughs> that is a big wad of lead. That would have hurt. All right. Let's see how I did that time. Yeah, I think it stopped it. You can see the round in there. Go around the back. We do not have an exit hole. But my goodness, that would have really, really hurt. I'm posting this video on a Friday. And last Friday, we didn't do a full blown, full auto Friday. I just shot a full auto in the video. And that's what we're gonna do today as well and then probably next week I will resume just full-blown full auto Friday videos here's what we're gonna do now and get rid of that bowling pin and I'm gonna set this up flat on the ground right here up against these railroad ties I haven't shot the full auto 458 so calm in a while so uh I say we see if this bulletproof bandana will stop 458 SOCOM. Okay, well, just in case you've never seen it before, this is my CMMG MKW-15 chambered in 458 SOCOM. And what's special about this is it's full auto. And I'm gonna be using these. These are Underwood ammo, 300 grain brass solids. Absolutely powerhouse of a round. And uh, I guarantee you that this mask is not gonna stop these. YouTube employee that's reviewing this video, rest assured this is all 100% legal. Just check the description down below. Are you ready, kinfolk? Here we go. Oh, oh, we had a jam. You just got jammed. All right. What in the world? My grand finale is ruined. Woo. You know what? I'm not satisfied. You can't have a jam on your grand finale like that. That's better. Okay, well. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, so the face mask is uh, not rated for 458 SOCOM. Um, here's our hits. And uh, yeah, we have exit holes out the back here. Wait, where's the back? Wait, this is the back. Okay, this is the back. Here's all our entrance holes. Got a little mixed up there because it's just all wadded up. But we have exit holes out the back. Very big exit holes. 
All right, Ken folk, that's gonna be it for today's video. What did you think about the bulletproof bandana? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.